now that you got that Region 5 title, you talked to your guys yesterday, is it now sunk in? Hey, we're at this position, we're in the Class 5 state semifinals, and we got a big one with Maury this weekend. I think it sunk in uh, long before yesterday, long before receiving the trophy from uh, Mr. Adams. You know, it, it, it sunk in when we found out from uh, the region that we would not be playing against Manchester. We knew it was at stake. We knew the task uh, that, that was in front of us. You know, when you talk about this Maury team or, or even Deep Creek at that point in time, you know, what we had to do, especially when traveling down there. So it, this is an opportunity that we've looked for. It's something that we've uh, prepared for, but, but now we got to go out and we got to get the job done. How were you and your staff able to handle or manage the emotions of this team? Because they've talked about it for over a year and a half, that we want to get back to this point. How, how do you think you guys have handled everything that is going on with, with the guys trying to, you know, I, and, and, prove to themselves? And yeah, back there? I mean, it was a process, you know what I mean? Uh, wanting to get to this point and getting to this point is two different things. You know, you could talk about it, or uh, you put the plan in place. Once you put the plan in place, you know, now you got to go ahead and execute the plan. Executing the plan was a little bit difficult going through the COVID process. So for us, uh, managing the emotions and getting to the point where we are right now uh, took a long time. But like we tell our kids in everything that we do, uh, nothing at Hollis Springs High School is, is a uh, it is a microwave dinner. Everything is a Thanksgiving dinner. It's a process. It takes time. Uh, and, and, and the kids bought into that. They believed in that. And we've had to reiterate it now. Don't get me wrong. They're young kids, but, but they understand what we're talking about when we open our mouths and we talk about that. Something you said last week that kind of struck me when you talked to Tom after, after the fact, and you said that, you know, whoever was going to win that final would represent the 804 well. And now your thought process is not only to represent Hollis Springs, but to represent the 804. Talk more about, I guess, what it means to not only represent the school and to represent the East End, but to represent the 804 in this particular position. I, I mean, playing football in the state of Virginia has grown to be very, very important for a lot of people. Uh, playing football in the Central Region, uh, where we feel like the, the, they're the premier teams are in the region. You know, we want to make sure that we leave a, a long lasting impression on everybody that we come in contact with, right? And not necessarily just in football, but, but just our character, the way we carry ourselves, you know, everything beyond football as well. So to, to be able to hold this mantle at this time for our region, you know, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to the region that we can play good football this late in the year and give ourselves a chance to represent the region in a, in a great fashion. How different are you guys from that game in 2018? How different is Maury from uh, when they came up here in 2018? I think the programs are, are very similar, all right? And, 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 and they're very similar to what they were then, and we're very similar to what we were then, because one, the coaching staffs have not changed, all right? So you, you have the same philosophy, same idea, same thought. The teams are different, though. The teams are different. And the reason I say the teams are different because you have different kids playing in those positions. There's no Tremaine Talbert. There's no Keandre Lambert for them. Um, you know, th there's some different people on the field right now, and you got to make your, you got to make do with what you have right now. And uh, to do that, you got to coach a little differently. Uh, you got to work a little differently, and you got to prepare a little differently. And, and I think they're doing that, and we're doing it as well. Do you stress to the guys? This is your first state semifinal on the road. The previous four were here in this area. Do you stress how how the mindset will it be different? <laughs> going, going, basically going into an unknown because you hadn't done this before in a state semifinal. Yeah, and, and and I don't know if anybody's paid attention to it, but in years past, we've tried to prepare ourselves by making this trip. Making this trip a couple times. Playing Norview in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, playing Oscar Smith in 20, 2019. Right, right, right. You know, we just try to put, put ourselves in this position where we got to travel and travel a long distance so we know what it's like uh, to be on, on a bus. You know what I mean? And travel to travel two hours. Uh, know what it means to, you know, be in an uncomfortable situation where you're laying down on the hard floor as you get prepared for a game. Regardless of the situation, we try to give ourselves an opportunity to do it. Now, I'm not saying this will be the same because uh, the stakes are a lot higher, but at least we have some type of an idea of what we need to do and when we need to do it. What will be your message? I love the messages you give your guys throughout the course of your time here. What will be that message when you guys get off that bus Saturday? 
at Powhatan Field and play more. <laughs> I don't know where it'll be. I, not, I, I know uh, we're working on it right now. And, uh, you know, there, there'll be some hints of uh, endurance, perseverance, uh, preparation, how we prepare. Uh, and then, you know, making sure people understand that this is not an asterisk season because we didn't play Manchester, right? You know, this is something that we prepare for. We just want to have great representation for our area. And, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be some fun conversation. But, but it, has it been all prepared at this point in time? No, it hasn't all been prepared. But we definitely we're working on it. And uh, as time goes on, we'll get ourselves in position to have a good message and deliver a good message so the team is prepared and ready to go on Saturday afternoon. Do you like your team's mindset? right now as they prepare for them. I love our team's mindset. Uh, the camaraderie, the co competition, uh, it's growing, it's getting better. Um, you know, and the kids are ready to go at, 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 at any beck and call, right? Uh, we've been through some adversity. We had some ups and downs. We didn't play last week. You know, sometimes that could be a bad thing. But our kids, they, they took it in stride. They were ready to go. Uh, so what we're looking for them to do, you know, is get to a point where uh, they can make sure they handle anything that comes at them whether it be life or football. And, and the coaches have done a good job here on our program, and the kids have done a good job responding to that.